Hello everyone, this is Team Craze, and I just kind of want to do a short kind of initial impressions of both the mousepad that I'm using here and the new uh, Lamzu Thorn that I got here, which is kind of hard to see, but it's kind of ha I kind of have to do it this way because I have a white mouse here, so <laughs> so it's kind of easier to go over the initial impressions of the Lamzu Thorn first rather than the mousepad because I've previously used this HyperX Pulse Fire Haste quite a bit. If you've been on my channel for any a period amount of time, you've seen this uh, mouse and you know that like, well, I don't really like it. It's been pretty good to me, right? Like I kind of hold it like this and, you know, kind of do the thing. This is, a, this is an ambidextrous mouse. I can kind of go over to it like this. You can also see it from the bottom here that it's very symmetrical, right? Whereas with the Lamsey Thorn here, it's not as pronounced. I'm trying to find a good angle that lights it up, but I think it's better if I just go here. You know, it's more of an ergonomic mouse, right? So, you know, obviously for one, it's the way I hold it, where you can kind of see I hold it like this. And the HyperX Pulse Fire Haze, I hold, it, I hold it like this. It doesn't really look like a whole lot, but I don't know if you can kind of see, like, yeah, you can kind of see on the underside, like how I hold it. Whereas with the Lamzu Thorn, it's kind of, I'm more pincered in and it's filling up more of my palm here. If you can see it from this angle where, you know, from the uh, Pulse Fire Haste, it's not really doing a whole lot. It'll take me some time to get used to a ergonomic mouse again, because I've been using the Pulse Fire Haste for so many years, but it should be okay. Also, um... <laughs> I am also using a different using a different setup. Don't ask how I got this set this uh, angle because it's really fucked. It's really fucked how I got this angle. So yeah, like that's pretty much the my first initial impressions of the shape. Otherwise, right? If I'm if I'm to go over like build quality and stuff, I mean the first one obviously is that. The pulse fire haste here has holes, while the uh, Lanzu Thorn, by comparison, doesn't have holes at the at the top. But on the bottom, there's a lot of cutouts. Whereas with the uh, the pulse fire haste, there's holes all around. Right, you got it on the top here, not on the sides, thankfully. But at the bottom, there's even more of those. And this leads to uh, to about sixty grams on the 62 on the pulse fire haste meanwhile with this due to the material and all the cutouts at the bottom we're looking more at a at a 52 gram mouse here so yeah there you go that's a decent angle to kind of show off the shape <clears throat> so there's that this is also using using optical switches so you know, like, it's basically going to last forever comparatively to the TTC Golds and the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste here. Which sounds more fulfilling, but, you know, I feel more confident knowing that these optical switches and the, and the Lamzu Thorn are going to pretty much, like, last me a lifetime. I also like the side button design more on the, uh, Pulse fire on the Lamzu Thorn here comparatively to the Pulse Fire Haste. Not to say that the Pulse Fire Haste side buttons weren't easy to hit. It's just I prefer, you know, the bigger side buttons like these. I also just prefer Ergos in general, but I had been using a, an Ami mouse for a long ass time. And so that's kind of just the initial impressions on the mice. And now the initial impressions on the mouse pad. This is a undisclosed mouse pad from an undisclosed um, per peripherals manufacturer that I will not name, thanks to uh, NDA and stuff, because I want to respect it. But I do have to say the characteristics of this are very polarizing, comparatively coming off of the mouse pad I was using previously, right? So the mouse pad I was using previously, if you 
been on this channel before is the uh pure track p51 not on my desk right now because i still have to test this pad but you know the glide here on this mouse pad is pretty weird because it's got this amount of like initial friction that you kind of have to jump over but then once you get over it it actually glides pretty fast right if you can see that with the pulse fire haste and with the uh what is it the lambsy thorn here like this stops a lot more but you can see like it also just doesn't go a whole lot but it's kind of like abrasive to the touch comparatively to the p51 as well not so much like the hayate otsu which i think this pad is similar to but still pretty abrasive and rough it's got the same sort of um artisan i guess pour on base where like it won't move from your desk like i can try and move this it's not going to happen but it's not going to stick either like i can lift this easily without having to like do like a a sticker peel right on computer components <clears throat> the stitching is all is also very good i don't know if I, if i can really show it don't know if it'll really show but oh there you go it will show you can kind of see it's like also below the it's also above the base on top of also being just like below the surface so it's kind of weird to me because what is it even on ours and pads it doesn't do that right so kind of a weird thing going on there the other thing to note about this as well is that the vertical axis is slower than the horizontal like i don't know if you can kind of tell it's kind of moving a lot slower comparatively to the vertical axis i think it'll be more noticeable yeah if i do it with the with the white hyper x here like you can kind of see and this goes pretty fast but then like it's pretty slow here compared to this and that's been kind of messing me up when i've been playing video games is because coming from the p51 it's a very balanced pad in terms of the x and y axis being the same like and also the same speed so it's definitely been a period of adjusting for sure i can get used to it but like i'm not i'm definitely like not a a fan of it right apart from that that's kind of everything i have to say i say about these if you uh if you like the the glide test video there that i that i sent out and you liked my initial impressions on both of these mice i mean consider a subscription but i'm not going to you know force you into that because my channel content's pretty garbage ever since gundam evolution shut down so i'll figure something out on on that front but Thanks for thanks for watching this garbage video. I'll see you all next time.